Time Warner Cable's Local Edition. My name is Brad Palmer, and we are joined by Jen Perry today. You know Ms. Perry. She was on the City Council, but she is now the General Manager of the Los Angeles City Economic and Workforce Development Department, which is what? <laughs> Just it's very it. busy. That's yes, what it is. Exactly. It is. But talk to us about what the department is. It's a conglomeration of other departments that have now come and consolidated. Right, right. It used to be uh, the Community Development Department, and now we are strictly focused on workforce development and economic development. So we look for and fund projects uh, that will bring in net new revenue to the city, but most importantly, put people back to work. And let's talk about that because there's no doubt that Los Angeles wasn't hit as hard as other communities in terms of the economic downturn, but we're still seeing kind of a stubborn unemployment rate that's right. not ticking up as quickly as I'm sure you would like to see or ticking down, I should say. So talk to us about what it, the department is doing to lure jobs, keep jobs. Well, one thing that we've done is we've reestablished our work source centers, mm -hmm. and they will be sector-based. Now, July the 1st was the reopening of these new work source centers, so they'll focus on things like uh, travel and tourism jobs, hospitality jobs, uh, culinary arts, health care, construction trades, things like that. And so we are helping them recalibrate, focus much more on community, tie our work source centers to potential new projects and say to developers, look, when you come here to the city of Los mm -hmm. Angeles, we have a great workforce. They're very eager to work. They're well trained. They're job ready. And you can go to our work source centers and work with them to find the people that you need. Now, if I remember correctly, a few months back, maybe almost a year ago, President Obama designated a certain region of Los Angeles to be a zone that would benefit from these types of projects. Is that right, Ms. Perry? Well, yeah, that's a little bit different. That, oh. That's called a promise zone. Right. And what that does is, you know, when you submit your application to the federal government, you get a you know, preferred stamp okay. there on the top so that you can compete for federal funds, things like that. But what I'm talking about is a work source system across the entire city of Los Angeles, uh, open to all, free to all, a place where employers and developers, project developers can go and say, hey, I want to, I'm, I'm building, right. you know, a restaurant, I'm building a hotel, or we're, bu we're building a healthcare clinic, and we need 50 of people, 50 people who have this, this qualification. It's going to be a fast, direct way to go and access people who live here. So will the potential employees, are they able to go to these workforce centers, make themselves known, and then yes. fall into the process? How does that work? Yes, well, you go to a work source center, or if you're, or if you're a young person, mm -hmm. age 16 to 24, you can go to a youth source center and you can receive services services mm. on how to do your resume how to present yourself but what these centers also have is they have potential employers come and they meet people there and so it's a way to marry the two if you will um, so that you have direct access to people and then people get that help that they need to give them that extra push and there's a particular emphasis on veterans and I, I know you know sure. the mayor has uh, stated that in the of last course. week right. how important that is and and people who are formerly homeless and in a program on one of the best programs in the city is chrysalis and we right. do a lot of work with them but programs that are designed to stabilize people really get them on their feet so they can get out there and get a job what about the youth. You mentioned 16 to 24. Yes. That is an area with stubborn unemployment. Often over the summer, folks, you know, in that age bracket are looking for jobs. Are you targeting them specifically? Absolutely. We have a uh, higher LA's youth program. The mayor set a goal of 10,000 kids, 10,000 jobs. Mm. Just as an aside, I'm hoping that we can go year round on this program. And it's targeting again kids 14 to 24. Ah. Um, and that gets them, you know, prepared for a life of going to school and working. Uh, we 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 were able to meet our 10,000 goal. Congratulations! But, thank you. We uh, had 29,000 kids register. Ah. So they really there's a lot of kids out there who need jobs. Her name is Jan Perry, General Manager of the LA City Economic and Workforce Development Department. I'm Brad Pomerantz. It's Time Warner Cable's Local Edition.